Winona, Minnesota, a beautiful town planted next to the Mississippi in the heart of the Midwest. Maybe not the obvious pick for someone with a passion for the mountains, but for rock climber Eric Bernard and his family, there's no better place to call home. Fear is natural. You know, it's, if you don't have fear, I think there's something wrong with you. You need to be able to have that rational discussion with yourself about, okay, why am I afraid? Like, am I afraid just because I am in a really unnatural, uncomfortable spot? Or am I, am I afraid because my life is in danger? Yeah. Like, if we're not willing to, like, go too far, you never know how far you can go. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, now we're, now we're moving, okay. And so right. climbing is a great metaphor for that. You know, you want to stop halfway up, but do you want to stop just because you're scared and it's in your mind? Or do you want to stop because you literally are in danger? Right. You're not in danger. Right. That's your chance to break through that barrier. Um, there's been plenty of climbs that I bailed. You know, I've failed on more climbs than I've succeeded on. For sure, really? for sure. Oh yeah, there's climbs I've had to go back to two or three times to be able to succeed. I think it's really good to kind of scare yourself a few times a year to kind of shock load yourself. And like climbs like El Cap, when you're sitting at the base of it and you're looking out, you're like, it's gonna take a week of going up, you know? And On a wall. Yeah, it's just like, no breaks. you know, you don't, yeah. don't want to continue. But so when you go and you fail though, and then when you come down and you realize that you failed just because you were afraid, that's a bad feeling. Yeah. And that, that's why that, that saying of like fear is temporary but regret is forever is like really true in, in this sport. Having done these climbs gives me so many tools to be successful in life. You know, there's times where when things get hard and I just think to myself, like I climbed Don Wall. <laughs> like, I'm doing this. I got this. Yeah. Like, and it's the same thing. It's like, I remember when I was there and it was like all hope was lost. There's no way we're gonna do this. but. We dug deep and we pushed through and you know what a lot of times we find out is like once we push through things are way easier than what we thought they were. Just go one foothold at a time. Like don't think about getting to the top. Just kind of stay with the blinders on. Just live in this world of like 14 inches and just stick with that. And that's how we do like when the climbing gets really hard, you know, on these big routes, sometimes you know you are way out there and you're looking at, you know, if, if I fall, I'm gonna free fall 100 feet before the rope catches me. And like, if I think about that, I'm not gonna do my best. So I'm just gonna think about right here what I have control over, right? I, I don't have control over what's gonna happen in a half an hour. Right. I have control over this right here. It definitely gives you up the rock, but it also gets dreams accomplished right. too. So that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and you know, like people that can create change are the ones who are willing to put their head down and get those small victories and keep pushing it together. Eric's story inspires me. He's taken the lessons he's learned from climbing rock faces and applied them to life. I think we can learn from that. So when you're going after something big, something important, something outside your comfort zone, at some point, fear will come. But when it does, take a breath, focus on what's right in front of you, and push through.